of YouTube. <laughs> Hi babies, it's your young Mike and today, 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 I am back again with another video on my channel and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make aesthetically pleasing thumbnails that people are going to click on. Because some of y'all thumbnails don't need it. And I'm just not even trying to be real, but they kind of call me the thumbnail expert. Let me stop. Nobody calls me that. But before we get started with today's video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow all of my social medias so we can stay connected. And without further ado, let's get into today's video go all right so for my thumbnails i use two apps i use Foncho and pixar so what you'll be needing for your thumbnail is a picture of the background with you not in it and a picture and a pose with you in it so now i'm just gonna go into my camera roll and see which one i'm gonna use let's see let's see that's the picture of the background without me in it and now i gotta pick a picture hmm I think it's gonna be this one. So now I just favorite those two pictures, that's optional. But then after that, I go into PixArt. I click the plus. And then I just, I'm just gonna go to favorites because I saved them to favorites to make it easier to find. And I'm gonna click the picture of the background without me in it. So then after that, I go to tools, I go to crop, and then I go to 16 by nine. And then I just personally like to do this. I scroll, the, swipe the picture all the way down, but you don't have to do that. So then I click apply. Now after I click apply, I click add photo. I scroll over and I click add photo. Favorites, this, add one. And now I'm gonna click on cut out and then my yours might not always have these options for it to cut it out for you. So if it doesn't, you just have to cut it out yourself. But mine does, so I'm just gonna click person. <laughs> uh, let me see. And then I got a preview to see how it's gonna look and if I like how it looks. Uh can we make my bun like well that's actually the size of my bun. So I'm just gonna click save. So so I'm not ready. <laughs> and then after I click save, I go to border, and then I go to the white border, and I make it smaller. Hey, G on the track, so you know I'm gonna eat it. And then after that, I click apply. And after that, wait, click that. Click next, and then click save, and click download a photo. Okay, it's safe. So now after that, you go into Fonto, and then you click the camera icon at the bottom, then you go to photo albums, then you click on the picture you just saved, click done, click on the photo and click add text. Now, personally, this is like up to you. You have to decide like if you're gonna have like a theme for your thumbnails, if you're gonna like have like a color scheme for your thumbnails. My personal color scheme is lavender because that's my favorite color, despite my room being teal. My favorite color, well, those are my two favorite colors. Nobody asked. But you are literally just gonna type your text however you want to. Now, this video that I'm editing the, this thumbnail for is summer bucket list. And yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna type summer. Bucket list and goals. So I don't know how I want to make this. Oh, yeah, I just can't spell anymore. Both. Okay. Summer bucket list. Summer bucket list. Style. Oh. And I might change the font because this is like, I might keep this font for like. Okay, so if you want to change the font but you want to keep the, everything the same, just click, just scroll over and click the two pictures on top of each other because I'm not going to make that the summer bucket list part. I'm going to make that the So now I'm going to go to font and this is how you just change the font. I'm just going to scroll up. Hmm. I like to use that italic font because like I like the way they like
So now I don't, what I don't like doing is having like, if I'm having like two different sex, I don't like them to be the same color scheme. So I'm just going to click on the smaller one and then I'm gonna go to style. And all of this is optional, just, you know. And then after that, I'm gonna go darkest purple. That's gonna stay the same. And then I don't know, like something about this just doesn't look right. That, that'll work. So after that, I click on the share icon. I don't know if that's what it's called, but that's what it's been called today. And then I go to save image. And after that, I go back into Pixar. Uh, click done if it's that's still up. Done. Then go to the plus icon on the bottom. And then scroll down to whatever, go down here to color backgrounds. And whatever color, um, you whatever color your thumbnail is themed if it's not down here and you can't get it from here i'm gonna show you guys how to like make the background color so like mine just go to text and then this and then click the three lines and then click save i already have that saved so then you click done and then make sure this is saved on your phone i know this is saved on my phone but let me make sure it should be in your Y'all, I'm not careful. Okay, that's safe. So now you go to reset. And then if you want to make like the background that I make, like you go to plain images, you click this first black one. You where it says 2048 by 2048, click on that, click on custom, click on six oops, 16 by nine, because that's the YouTube ratio. And then you go to color, and then you go click on those three lines again and click on the color you just saved and click apply and then click use. And then you just click on, um, and you just save image. And then after that, you go back into PixArt. But you can also just get it from down here if you see the color, but I didn't see the exact color, so I just made another one. And then it may look like this, but it's okay. It's still the same ratio, just zoom it in. And then click add photo and add the thumbnail. Well, it's not the full thumbnail. And then you, you need to decide this part, how much of the border do you want them to see? That'll work. Um, so then you click apply and then you go to FX effects. Oh wait. Don't eat it. <laughs> and then you go to HDR and this part is kind of optional. I just like to add like a little bit of saturation. So then you go to saturation and this part, I can't really tell you how to do it. I just know that if you want your saturation to be shown, So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys learned how to make aesthetically pleasing thumbnails from it. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all of my social media so we can stay connected. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I keep forgetting my outro. <laughs>